So, I just had to offload a shitload of data and gigabytes of shit, basically, that was on my phone just to make this video, but it'll be worth it because I brought me and my dog down to our favorite place. And as you, as you can see, it is beautiful. I don't really know how much time I have, but I really wanted to thank everybody that, that liked all of my other videos. Like, not liked, like, clicked like. I mean, enjoyed them. <laughs> You see, that's the difference between me and somebody who's actually worried about the likes. Like, for instance, for instance, I want people to actually smile and see that there are actually nice people in the world still. Because all you see every single day is negative, news negative. All you see on Facebook, what is it, 80, 90% negative by now? Has anyone done? A percentage check on Facebook to see how much shit is actually positive and negative that they're showing you? No. They will never do that. They will never do that because the larger percentage of what you're seeing on Facebook is bad nowadays. I don't like it. I don't like it. I haven't posted a thing on there in fucking weeks, months. It's like, it's like, how does something go from being so great to just being so big that it can't be great anymore? How do you make something so big that you don't serve the people that made you that big? How is that even possible? If I was a company and I was that big, I guarantee you, I guarantee you I would figure out a way to make more people happy. At least more people happy. A little bit better pay than what everyone else is getting. A little bit le better of a lifestyle. If I had a company like that. I don't. I'm just saying. That's probably why I don't have a company like that because I would pay people what they're probably worth or close to it for once. It would feel great. Everyone would literally be working as hard for you as they possibly could. It makes sense. Like whenever you treat people good, they'll treat you twice as good. It's like, I wish that the world would spread this because if you can treat people twice as good, it's just a receiving circle of fucking niceness that just never stops. Damn, that was wild. I didn't even know where that was going, honestly. But yeah, it's like, that's crazy to even think about that. If you're nice to people and they're nice to you back and then they spread it to other people, it really kind of is spreadable, like a, like a disease almost, but it's happy can be spreadable. I like that. Put that on your fucking Uncrustables peanut butter and jelly spreadable sandwiches. <laughs> no, that's dumb. But I really like this place down here. There's just not enough places like this in my town where you can literally just walk around and see nobody, see no houses or anything like that. All you see is sun and trees. It's nice. It's nice to come to places like this, and I know everybody probably does it. I mean, not as much as I do, but you'd probably, there are people that probably do it way more, and goddamn, you, people probably living in the woods right now, full time, that the government has no idea about, probably, and good for them. I've thought about it so many times, just like trying to live off of the woods. I mean, you gotta be able to hunt. You gotta be able to trap. That would help as well. Trapping shit. And you could live in case some shit actually pops off. You could just go into the woods and survive still. While everybody else is actually living in hell. You would be happy. That's pretty import important information. I've been thinking about that over the years. Really just upping my skills on like skinning deer and shit like that animal that you'll actually see out in the woods what if something bad happens what if uh, you're gonna be able to go to a store for like two days three days and then 
it's gonna be wiped. It's like everybody really relies on the grocery stores and stuff so much, but it's like, wow, what if that shit wasn't, what if that shit wasn't a thing? You'd really have to know how to use a knife, a gun, or a bow. <sighs> or a combination of all fucking three. I just like to think about things that could possibly help me, if you understand what I'm getting at. It could be random to you, it definitely is random, but I have random thoughts and conversations just pop in my head and I'll just start them. And then I'll like go back to other conversations, it's really trippy. But it also is really good because I can sit here and just talk to myself and make awesome video. It's pretty, probably pretty interesting just to see how my brain is working right now, which is like, I've been really good at multitasking as of recently as well. I've been trying to do like many, a couple, like maybe one or two things at once. I can't even give you an example because I, it's just random things, random things like driving and something else. I don't know. I'm just saying like. You can do many things at once, and if you train yourself to do that on the mushrooms, you can learn new things, teach yourself new things that you really wouldn't normally be able to do. Just like dreaming. Whenever you're dreaming, you can teach yourself, like for instance, there's a way to realize that you are dreaming and get up and do anything that you please while you're dreaming. And a few minutes in a dream is actually like hours or days. So if you can lucid dream and figure out how to lucid dream, I know this video is going to be so random. Oh my God, I love it. I absolutely love it. There are so many just random topics popping in my head right now for some damn reason, and I hate it. I hate it. If you want to know why I'm so damn weird, then watch my other videos, and you'll fucking figure out possibly what it could be. <laughs> I've never really, really been right, but I'm at least happy. I'm at least able to just be myself and not care about what other people think at all. And that is just awesome. I can just walk by people and I, even if they're judging me or like literally judging me in that moment, I could just look at them, smile, and just move on my way and literally demonstrate to them how the hell you're supposed to be. You're not supposed to be out making other people miserable. You're not supposed to be out putting other people down. You're supposed to be outside. Just wandering. <laughs> Figuring out where your surroundings are. That's also cool. We're just standing right beside this huge beehive. Bees, like it's a beehive that somebody has out here in the middle of the woods. Bees don't hurt you either, unless you're an asshole. <laughs> then they hurt you. Or unless you step on them by accident. In that case, apologize. I would. If I stepped on a bee and they stung me, I'd probably apologize. I'd be like, damn it, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for stepping on you. You should be sorry for being where you were at, but I'm sorry for what I did. This place used to be like an old trailer court down here, and then a flood just wiped it out. I came down here with a uh, metal detector once. Didn't find much. I have found, I found an old knife from like the 70s. It's called the old timer knife. Yeah, it's really cool. I like old stuff, you know? I really like old stuff. And there's never really any particular direction for my videos. That's kind of why I just ramble. But it's like, if you're really listening, a lot of it makes sense. So, some of it may not make sense. It's just, I apologize. I'm sorry. 
I'm sorry if some of the shit I don't say, some of the shit that I say it doesn't make sense. I'm just wandering around a forest right now, looking at a berry bush that will probably give you the shits for like fucking a week. Could kill you, honestly. Or it could be the best thing that you eat all day. <laughs> Red ones, round ones especially, definitely probably not good. Definitely not a berry bush. It is probably a type of berry. Oh yeah, those are to wait. Those aren't raspberries. No, they're not. They look like they could be. See, that's the problem with these bushes. You literally could eat them and then just get totally fucked or be totally, totally great. Excuse my language. Oh, wow, I'm watching this pretty bird just wander this tree right now. You see, there is something about appreciating your surroundings. It's fucking awesome. Just watching this stuff around you, not hurting it, just being here, that's good. I have to cut this off before it tells me that I have no storage again, but I'm going to try to post this. I'm going to try to post it. Yep, yep, yep. I love all the nice people out there. Be nice to other people. Spread positivity and that shit will come back to you like you were owed it and you never knew it was coming. Good things can happen to you just out of nowhere. Your life could totally level up and you really just can only be there to smile about it. So, just be happy. Peace out. Goodbye. See you next time. I'll keep making videos. Yes, I'll keep making videos. People were wondering from like a month ago, is it, are, have you made any videos? No, I haven't, but I'm definitely going to. So... Keep going, you guys. Stay happy.